Welcome to Fast Performance TV, I'm Claudio Ancina, and yes, we're coming back from this clean, lovely desk to talk to you a little bit about value hooks. So if you looked at my last week's video, that was really about some buyer and seller work of how you can add value and earn the business versus begging for the business. So the next value hook I wanna share with you today is a real true case scenario. But here's the question you wanna ask. When you leave that market appraisal, you need to ask yourself this question. Based on my knowledge, do I understand this prospect's concerns, issues, needs, and motivation? If you can answer those four, guess what? You can work towards adding value hooks around those concerns or issues or needs or around their motivation, because that's gonna get you one step closer to earning the business. So here's a true story that just happened not too long ago from a client of mine, and he said, Claudio, I'm looking at getting this business, it's a deceased estate. Now, you know when I know deceased estates is like, there's 10 agents that get involved going for a listing opportunity, there's four or five siblings involved in making the decision, so how can I earn the business? Anyway, cut a long story short, this agent had just sold a property at auction last Saturday, and one of the, I suppose, siblings, who's the executor, was able to go to the auction and see how he operated. Because he did actually say to him, come and see the auction, that will give you a feel and taste of how we work. And the executor turned up and he was really quite impressed. And he said to Ben, hey Ben, guess what? It's come down to two people. He said, wow, I feel really honored. I'm down to two agents. What do I need to earn your business? He said, well, there's a few other brothers involved, so we're all in the decision-making process. So give us about three or four days and we'll make up the decision, give you a call and let you know if you've won the business. So Ben rings me up and says, Claudio, what can I do over the next couple of days to earn the business? So I said to him, you got a good result. He saw how you worked. Yes, he did. Okay, what are the degrees of separation between you and the other agent? I don't know because he won't tell me who the other agent is. And we've seen that happen before. So what had happened next was and transpired, I said to Ben, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna ring him up this afternoon. Have you spoken to him? He said, I spoke to him this morning. I said, would he feel like you're hassling him if you rang him up in the afternoon? Because different personalities don't want to be pressured into a, I suppose, making a decision. And you've got to know the different types of personalities. And if we looked at one of my past videos in the disc system, we've got the driver, you know, we've got the I, we've got the S, and we've got the C, who's the compliance type of personality. So he said, no, no, he won't mind if he gets a call on, on uh, Monday afternoon. I said, great. Tell him that you've done all the callbacks for that property that went to auction on Saturday. And out of those 125 groups that came through in the last three weeks and the 10 registered bidders and the nine who missed out, the buyer for his property, which is not far from the auction that he had that Saturday, is in this book. And just say to him, these buyers are chomping at the bid to get through your home. That is what you call, my friends, a value hook. Getting people to stop and think. And that's all we're trying to do when we ask our questions and we add value hooks is get our prospects to stop and think. Because if we can get them to stop and think, you're starting to earn the business. I hope this video has been helpful for you to add more value hooks to your business so you can win a lot more business in the second half of 2015. Remember, stay focused, stay in control, and always stay in action.